Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to the finale of Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. I know I said last episode maybe the finale, but I'm, this is a finale for sure. I don't care how long it takes, but we're like right here, so I'm just gonna make this one go. So this video might be a little longer, but well, it's the finale, so usually they are longer. So last time we left off, we thought we almost had it with the whole issue about the box, you know, the, um, the drop of blood on the, uh, on the, uh, Samurai Dog's box, but apparently it has no relevance to the case until we said, well, it's not the victim's blood, and we had to think, we had to think outside a box. It's not whose blood is it, but whose blood could it be that, that was in that dressing room, blah, blah, blah. So we actually put all the logic together, all the common sense thinking, then it sh this should be a no-brainer. The blood that soiled this box of samurai dogs belongs to none other than him. The blood of the rising sun on this box belongs to you, Akira Kisaba. What? 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 Why is his blood in the box of samurai dogs? He's not even a victim. The blood fell into the box when Mr. Cochin's body was being was being loaded into the push cart. At that time, the only two people in the dressing room were the victim and his killer. So that's what you mean. The blood doesn't belong to the victim. Then there's only one other person it could belong to. Yes, and that person is the murderer himself. That's the only logical conclusion. But Mr. Cochin is the one who was stabbed, sir. Why would Mr. Alba have the one have been the one who was bleeding? What if during the murder, Mr. Cochin had fought back? You mean, if before Mr. Alba could kill him, Mr. Cochin managed to wound Mr. Alba? Yes, and I believe we have a piece of evidence that proves that he was bleeding then. What is the piece of evidence that shows that Mr. Alba was probably bleeding at the time? Easy enough, Alba showed it himself. Remember? This damn, uh, his wound. He claims that it's proof that he was stabbed by Damascus second, because it was justified defense. What if he was wounded during the fight with Manny Cochin? Boom! Take that! Mr. Alba, you bear on your body a great wound. That was from when Damascus second attacked me with a pair of scissors. Yeah, and that happened way after he was in the dressing room. Ah, but what? But is that what really happened? You can manufacture a weapon of smearing blood on it, so I can't escape that. I can't accept that as a fact. Shall we try a test, Mr. Alba, and see if the shape of your wound matches of the scissors? Objection. You really are something else, Mr. Edgeworth. You don't need let a single thing slip by you, no matter what how no matter how significant they may be. Hmm. <laughs> You're one to talk, Mr. Alba. You've managed to give the law to slip for ten years as a smuggling ring's leader. No matter the danger, you can hide every last ounce of fear and anxiety from everyone. You truly are a one-of-a-kind criminal. <laughs> I'm the master of my fear. However, to think that a person such as you could miss such a large thing... You believe I'm, oh, I've overlooked something? You said that my wound was caused by Mr. Cochin, and that it was caused here in one of the theater's dressing rooms, right? Yes, that's correct. I'd like to point out that's simply not possible. My wound is a stab wound, and one that could only have come from a blade. I wonder where you would propose that such a weapon came from. The this theater was packed with security guards. It would have been impossible for anyone to come into this area with a weapon of any sort. Just as Mr. Apple was able to bring into the Albastine knife in a bouquet, there must be some other way of sneaking a weapon of some sort. Ah, uh, but as long as you can't prove what other way that is. All your talk about Mr. Coach is stabbing me is pure nonsense. So, if that other way does exist, you better hurry and tell me now. With pleasure. W wait, what? The piece of evidence shows how this piece of evidence shows how Mr. Coach brought a weapon to his theater. And guys, this is the final piece of evidence that we will be pre presenting. After this. The game's finished. So, we gotta figure out the piece of evidence that shows how Mr. Cochin brought a weapon to his theater. Now, if you think about it, there's gotta be some way that, you know, we can masquerade the the weapon, you know, hide it. 
Well, wait a minute. This key... We know about it, right? We know that... It can... The key can also be turned into a knife. Now, it says right here that this was stolen from the embassy seven years ago. And it was also discovered in Manny Cochin's, Manny Cochin's office. So let's say that Manny Cochin was carrying it around as a key. He could have easily switched it to a blade to, to defend himself against Alba. I think we finally solved this case. Take that! Among law enforcement, this piece of this piece is known as Yagarasu's key. That key! That's the key that my father stole from here seven years ago. And is very unique in that it is both a key and a knife. Meaning that under the guise of a key, it could have been easily brought into the theater. No! You couldn't dispose of the knife that stabbed you. Therefore, you wiped off the blood and placed it back in Mr. Cochin's pocket. After all, the key itself opens a safe in his office. And inside that safe, there was a document about Kotopian Koto paper, signed by Mr. Cochin. In order to make it look like Mr. Cochin died as the leader of the smuggling ring, you had to make it so that the police were the ones who would open it off his safe. Hmm. All that hard work to save yourself only served to destroy you in the end. Shall we try matching this knife's blade with your wound, Mr. Mr. Kirikasaba? And that is what some may call the coup de gras. Impossible! You! You can't take me down! Swine! All of you! Especially Manny Cochin! It's all because of that man's betrayal! He sought to steal control of the smuggling ring from me by removing me as ambassador! Which is why he deserved to die without, without bearing the guilt over all the crimes for me! That's why I set up the Anagrasu's card and how the incident was born! Manny was supposed to be the smuggling ring's leader who was killed by the Anagrasu! But... I had... Yet another reason, yet another story that was supposed to play out. Manny's death was supposed to bring everyone to a close. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for your meddling prosecutors. Mr. Alba, I'm afraid there's one more question I forgot to ask. This country's or Alba's, which country's court would like? Would you which court? Which country's court would you like to face first? Either way. It's game over for you. Edgeworth! Oh boy. Yep. Yep, he's done. He is done. Oh geez, that is a very creepy sight. And there we go. We are done. So we were back here at the uh, defendant lobby number two. Actually, it seems like the next day. Phew! This is it. The big day. It's Mr. It's Mr. Alba's trial today. Or maybe this took place a little after. I, I wasn't. I didn't make sure of the date. And next week, he's scheduled to stand trial in his own country of Albast. Francisca's heading that one. I expect she'll be serving a full whip, full course of whiplashes at it. Having to face Mr. Karma in court right after facing you, sir. Oh. <sighs> I don't even want to think about how that will, what, how that would be like. I caught a glimpse of Mr. Alba as he was being escorted into the courthouse, and boy, he looked about as glim, glum as I do the day before I get my monthly paycheck. You know, I've been thinking that flight attendant and even Mr. Portsman are, are all of Mr. Alba's secret agents. Correct. That smuggling ring was a common thread between all the incidents. Cammy Mealy was to provide sm support smuggling during smuggling ops, using her job as an attendant, and Mr. Portsman was to manipulate trials related to the ring to end in his favor. Oh, I fly airlines and even a prosecutor's office. No one will save from the smuggling ring, huh, sir? I suspect that, I suspect that there are even more members of this ring spread throughout the world. Yeah, it sounds like such a big op that I can't even begin to imagine what it's like. Hmm? What is it, Detective? No, oh, nothing. It's just the. Well, come to think of it, Mr. Ernest Amato's trial is also scheduled for later today, sir. I'm aware of that. 
Mr. Armada has been working with the smuggling ring right right now now for over ten years. He used the Armada Group's various connections worldwide to assist the ring. Where all that was has come to an end of, of as as his conglomerate is now undergoing harsh scrutiny. I owe Mr. Armada a debt of gratitude, but he must pay his debt to society. Well, with the arrest of both Mr. Alba and Mr. Amano, I guess that about wraps up the KG-8 incident as well, huh? I suppose so. The real killer in that KG-8 incident ten years ago was Manny Cochin. And seven years ago, the killer in the second KG-8 incident was Mac Rell. Those two facts are unshakable truth. However, it seems that there are a lot of effort was put into the hiding of these and other truths from us. And I will expose it all at the trials today. You're solving cases left to right today, huh, aren't you, sir? CCU indeed, man. Perhaps now these two brave souls who try to make the truth known can rest in peace. By the way, I received some gifts from Ambassador Palino. Shrimp, crab, beef... I don't need any of these, so I'm giving them to you. What? Seriously, sir? Wait, actually, I don't think I want them anymore. The way you're holding them... Don't tell me they've just, they're just they just coupons, sir. Detective Gumshoe, have you not read the paper recently? Ever since the two countries became Kodapia again, its economy has changed. Really? And it seems that Ambassador Palino has reaped a few benefits of his own from it. He has been announced as the official ambassador of the newly re 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 reunified Kodapia. Ah, but what a pity. Even though every item he sent is a treasure, you don't seem all that interested. Well, if you don't want them, I can give them to my lovely assistant, Kay. Wait, that's not what I said. So, uh, Mr. Ashworth, please let them. Please let them. Let me have them, sir. Actually, come to think of it, where is Kay? How come she's not here? Hey. Oh, guys, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, thought I heard something. <clears throat> All right, uh, here's Kay. Hey, you gotta be more alert than that. Ah! Oh, damn! I got ow cramp, cramp. Why the hell that? Ow, ow, ow! Freaking hell! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, excuse me. Some sometimes my damn toe cramps up like hell, and ow. Okay. I can't believe you didn't notice. I was even mimicking Sadra's voice for a bit. I totally didn't notice you. I realized that voice was you. Lang Z says, Ferocious love blooms of each new spring. Agent Lang, a pleasant surprise to see you here. It's been a good long time since I set foot in the courthouse, but I wasn't gonna miss watching the guy who screwed up my country finally get what's coming to him. Well, that is something else. I want to see you in action in court. Is that so, Agent Lang? We flushed out all the counterfeit bills, so Zhang is finally at peace again. And it's all thanks to you. So I just want to say thank you. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day old Wolfie says thanks to Mr. Edgeworth. I should be the one thanking you, Agent Lang. If you hadn't neg negated Mr. Alba's uh, extraterritorial rights, I would not have been able to bring him to the trial today. I believe the victory belongs to the both of us in this case. Ugh. A shared victory, huh? Look, don't get me wrong. I'll still never forgive you prosecutors. I have zero interest in that truth thing you talk about in court. I've always done things my own way, and that's not about to change. Now, you got that? Huh. I see. Well, I believe you should follow your own creed when you do your job. Yeah. And if there's ever someone your your precious truth can't catch, feel free to sit around and cry about it all you want. But as for me, I'm gonna get it with that person no matter what. <laughs> all right, it's about time for the trial to start. I'll see you later. I'll be watching a performance in the gallery. I'm looking forward to this. I prepared a whole ton of ticker tape for today's uh, victory, sir. <gasps> you mean confetti in the courtroom? I'll have to throw some around when Mr. Edgeworth wins. Ha 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 ha! Hope you got enough, because I'm about to go call my men up as well. A, a modest amount of ticker tape goes a long way. The scene shifts to the courtroom, 
and the final act of this long tale begins. The Legend of the Great Thief, the Aragarasu. It's the story of those who chose to dedicate their lives to the pursuit of the truth. Prosecutors are those who seek a guilty verdict for the defendants they meet. And to that end, you have no choice but to win by any means necessary. That creed was forced on me when I was young. However, I am no longer I no longer think that is all all pre prosecutors do. And that is because Even though I've only been away from the courtroom for a short time, I feel as though it's been a lifetime since I've seen since that foot in here. And today, more than any other day, I feel the fight within me. And there we go! We completed a, yet another Ace Attorney game, and I'm sure that they're gonna help. They're gonna talk about like all the characters we talk we met already. I am really in Mr. Edgeworth's doubt for, debt for the other day. Thanks to him, I'm still free to serve in the friendly blue skies. Oh, so, about my suitcases, I've been selling them on the internet, and they've become a real sensation. Thanks to the praise that art would have lavished on my work as being truly postmodern. And the airline has chosen me to design their new line of iFly Jumbo Jets. Just think, someday you'll be able to take a ride in my pink-walled, yellow-seated jet. Oh, wow. Well... Good for her, I guess. Oh, I don't want to talk to this guy. Oh, I forgot about him. He annoyed me. Edgeworth! Ah, oh, the rudest of a rude man. Hm, because of him, my time and money is wasted. But more important, importantly, -er, I received the most fantastic treasure today. The primitive statue of the Principality of Cordopia. It weighs a bit. It weights a bit light in my hands, but the ambassador of Pelina was most generous. Oh, he gave him the fake. How nice, I guess, or whatever. Who cares? And there's old Sal in the end of the back there, if you notice that. We finally caught Agent Hicks's killer, and I was able to witness Mr. Elbow's teary eyes. It feels good to finally bring everything to a close. I received another offer from the Interpol to work another case in cooperation with them. However, the code of P in the court awaits. Kodopia's uh, air is supposed to be this will be very fresh, so my whip should uh, find new vigor there. Oh boy. Gotta watch out for Francisca there. And my dog won't stop barking. Oh, it's uh, Officer Meekins! This little patrolman has been fired as of today, sir! I thought I was safe since we found the gun I had dropped! But I didn't notice I dropped my police badge, too! I guess what really broke the camel's back was that I couldn't find my badge. My little life was suddenly tripped into a dark black hole, sir! I think I'll go to the courthouse to file a complaint with Ruffles Man! I'm, I'm assuming he means us, because, yeah, our shirt kind of looks like a pirate. Well, our old one did anyway. This one, not so much, but no, hey. And. I totally forgot Emma was in this game. She was only in it for like a little while. I was actually hoping to talk with Mr. Edger for a bit more than I did. But I've got to get going and return to Europe. I still got a long way to go and, I, and a lot of stuff to study there. Next time I help Mr. Edger with that case, I'm going to do it as a real forensic scientist. I'm sure he's going to need all the help I can give him, scientifically. Well, instead of helping Edgeworth a lot, she helped Apollo and Phoenix a lot, that's for sure. Although, maybe in Ace Attorney 5, she may help both. Maybe Edgeworth makes an appearance in that one. I hope he does. Oh, and uh, I forgot her name. Because the kidnapping was staged, I was, let, I was let, let off easy. But I won't be going outside much anytime soon, and, well, that's really okay. The only prison I'm forever trapped in is the cage of love. The guard down at the detention center. Well, he's on my guard. He's on guard duty. He has such a cold look in his eyes. Just like that prosecutor. Oh boy. Ah! Stop it, Lauren! When will he ever learn to stop being a prisoner of love? Okay, well, you... In... I, don't, I don't even know what to tell you about that one. 
Uh, what, come on, Gumshoe, did you really do that? Oh, is it? We're talking to the judge now. It appears there are all sorts of drama that takes place uh, aside, outside a courtroom. Since we judges are here day in and day out, I've only heard a few rumors, but, uh... Apparently, Mr. Edgeworth teamed up with a thief and became a detective. Maybe I should team up with Bailiff and try to become a lawyer or something. Well, essentially, aren't judges lawyers beforehand? I mean, I thought it's how it went anyway. I thought so, anyway. I don't know. Oh, it's all... it's Maggie! Are you gonna do anything here? Okay, stop saluting, please. Thank you. Eh, she salutes one more time. Phew! I barely escaped death yet again! Yeah, but boy, were we lucky to have Mr. Edgeworth help us out, huh? Yeah, but because I lost the key, I got fired from a security card job. Oh, don't let it get you down, Maggie! You still got me! You're right, sir. I won't be sad. I'm gonna pick myself up and get through this. I wonder what my next job should be. Ooh, this is actually kind of fun! Uh, I feel bad for Maggie, but you know what? She's not gonna let that get to her. So good for her. Who else do we have left? Oh, it's uh, Ambassador Pagliano. I can never say his name right. Why not come to Cota Pia for your summer vacation? We have coupons aplenty! Right now, our embassy is proud to present our Let's Investigate a Murder Show! Although recreating that particular case has created a few small fires of its own, then we had a few problems with the fire marshals, and the next, but the next event will be great! It will be an attraction entitled Capture the Yadagarasu! Of course, I hope the endless case helped in creating our latest attraction! Uh, I was glad that he wasn't involved in a murder whatsoever. He seemed like a really cool guy. Oh, I can't forget about Larry. I can't believe that Mindy ditched me and went to Japan! But it's okay, because that's how I met Miharu. We're planning to go to Paris soon and start a business. We're gonna sell Blue Ocean Dogs. They'll sell like hotcake hot dogs for sure! A blue hot dog and a blue bun, I guarantee it'll turn your tongue and your face blue! I know I'm not really the type to work a lot, or at all really, but uh... Oh, so I noticed that I really haven't seen a guy in a blue suit at all recently. I wonder what's up? Well, next time we meet, I'm gonna make him eat one of my dogs. You leave Phoenix away, just don't- no, get out- no. He shall not eat any of your damn blue hot dogs. And we're talking with, uh... Oh, bad. Today I gave testimony in court today. As a member of the Yadagarasu. Yo, Mr. Bad! You look well, all things considered. By the way, have you noticed that, that elements within the ring have been begin, begin moving? They're probably fighting over who should succeed. Over who should be the next boss. Although, to be honest, I wish I could forget I've ever heard of that smuggling ring. Lang Z says, Furley bite the poisonous snake from head to tail. No one runs afoul of the law and escapes this wolf's fangs. I'll get you all yet! Ah, youth. When did I become so old, I wonder? Well, I don't know. I think I notice in the gray hairs of my beard more. I'm thinking of retiring my mirror. No, that's what you're known for. I really hope Detective Bad really is in trouble for, you know, what he did. I hope not, at least, but, you know, hey. Bucky, stop! He wants my other dog to play with him, and it's like, uh... Usually it's the other way around. I was the pink princess and the pink badger all in the span of two days. Talk about busy! But it's alright, because I got a letter from my beloved Edgy Poo. Please take care of your hip, and when you wish to speak, first take off your headpiece. What does he mean by my last uh, last statement? It's not like I enjoy being under a happy every time I see him. I've been an alien as some creepy fuzzy pink animal. Then I was a pink princess, a great hero of justice, but ever since I was able to make him blow his father's cat. And that's enough for her talking. Lucky! B Lucky, Benji wants to sleep. Leave him alone. Jeez. 
Oh, and here we are at, like, I guess the epilogue. Sweet. So here we go. Let's get this one going. Woo! I feel so much better now that the trial's over. And as always, your legal prowess is top-notch, sir. Yeah, nothing beat the look of Mr. Apple's face when you revealed the ring's secrets. I was amazed. You're like a totally different person when you step into a courtroom. Mr. Edgeworth is always ten times fiercer in court. Based on information Mr. Alba offered up, they've begun late large-scale operations to clean up the rest of the ring, which I'm happy to leave to Francisca and Agent Wang. Uh, you know what, guys? Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna just... Hold on. Well, it doesn't seem like my dog wants to shut up, so... I apologize. I know these last couple of parts, they've been acting up, and it's that's why it's hard for me to record sometimes, but... I hope it's not too big of a bother for you guys. So, here we go. So, where are your plans now, Kay? Hmm? Oh, well, I've, I've, we've taken care of the creep who killed my father, so I'm not sure. Hey, I know! Maybe I'll just keep on being Mr. Idris' assistant! Are you still trying to steal my job, pal? Just kidding, just kidding. I can't steal someone something so important to you, Gummy. Phew, what a relief. Kay? Yes? Even after all that's happened, are you still planning to become a great thief? Of course! But I don't want to tarnish the legend of the noble Yagarasu, so I'm going to hold off on doing anything until I make a tight three-person team of my own. A three-person team? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, don't tell him it's going to be Edgeworth and, uh, and, um, Gumshoe. I mean, you got a detective, a prosecutor, and, well, the thief. Oh, boy. A three-person team of young beauties the same age as me is, if possible. <laughs> With those criteria, I highly doubt you'll find the two other people you need. My father chose to fight for the truth. I think that's what was so noble about him. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, the only things I will ever steal are the truths that have been hidden away. I'm gonna work extra hard to make a world where the Yadagarasu isn't needed. Hmm. Let's both strive for such a future. Well, I guess it's time for me to get going. I see. Okay, keep your chin up and stay strong, okay? And don't be a stranger. Don't worry, I'll be back. I'll be sure to break the lock on the window and sneak in. If you could, I appreciate it if you can come in through the door, or the building's front door. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Andrew, if the lock on my windows at home has been broken for forever. Oh, one last thing before I go. Let's take a group picture, just the three of us. Yeah, commemorative photo. Every big case is to end this with one. No. Hey, why not? Don't tell me you're camera shy, Mr. Edgeworth. Of course not, Detective. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm taking a picture now. Hey, come back here! Mr. Edgeworth, you can't run away from this, sir! Hey! Didn't have gumshoe! Stop that! I can't be seen doing that! Doing what? Okay, I'm, t I'm, totally, t I'm t totally taking it now! Say cheese! What is he doing? And thus, the long tail of the KG-8 incident came to a close. The slaughter demise of the smuggling ring and the birth of a little great thief. But there's a little time to rest and relax. For I'm eager to tackle the investigation into a new case. The reason for my eagerness is... My want to pursue the truth. And... My want to believe in the strength of those who use the power of the law for good. As someone who has chosen to live my life as a prosecutor... That is my new creed. Oh, that's a cute photo. But what's he doing? That like it's embarrassing him. I I guess he Edgeworth doesn't really like taking pictures. He says he's not camera shy, but we all know he is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth. So, well, I know I usually give my overall thoughts and opinions on a game during the credits, but it's kind of hard to do so in a game like, um, when they keep talking during the credits. Well, I will say, I know I said the very beginning, but the very beginning is how P this game wasn't as good as the other games. And, uh, he's still barking. 
And the thing is, I think I still agree with that. It's not as good as the other ones, but it's still a very good game. I mean, if you're if you're a fan of Ace Attorney games, I see no reason why no one should be, you know, why anyone shouldn't pick this one up. But I'm just saying that, you know, it's not... Um, it, I just feel like the other ones are better in my in my right. So, I don't know. It's definitely something to be played, definitely. So, definitely don't miss out on playing it. That's for damn sure. So, um, and yeah, with this, I've actually completed five games in the Ace Attorney series. So you guys might be wondering, well, Pharaoh, what's next for you? And to be honest, I'm not really sure. Because, of course, as you already know, the sequel to this game is only available in Japan. And supposedly Capcom, they don't know if they have any plans on doing a local release just yet. But they should. I'm saying that they, they better, first off, but they've still yet to say anything official. However, there's also a team out there who's are currently translating the second game. You know, they're making an English patch. However, at this point, um, I believe they finished the first case and they're like halfway through the second. Uh, and I know they said, well, I'm not sure if they're going to release a patch for each case or they're just going to translate the whole game and then, you know, do that patch like that. So... Sad to say, I really can't cover that game until it is actually um, patched, or like you know, if it's translated, or you know, hopefully, if Capcom decides to do a localization of the game, then then I could actually cover the game. But the way it is now, I'm I'm afraid I can't cover it just yet. And people have been asking me like, what are you gonna do about the sequels to the game? You know, the, you know, the confirmed Ace Attorney Five, and also about Professor Layton versus, you know, Ace Attorney. Well, my issue now is that I still don't own a 3DS, and people will be asking, oh, why don't you just get one, you know? You, you, you've been saying you're going to get one, why don't you get one? Well, honestly, it's just, I don't know if I want to put down the amount of money just yet to get one, because, you know, I barely play games as it is now. I mean, the only time that I do play games is actually when I cover games, like LP them. So, I'm not going to say it's going to be a waste, but... I'm just not sure yet. And the whole thing about actually capturing the 3DS, that's another huge expense I don't want to actually indulge in because there is a 3DS capture board. However, it's like a hundred and something dollars or even more. And it's like, huh, I don't know if I want to do that either. So the way it is right now, it's just a huge expense for me to grab myself a 3DS and then even record it. And I know people might say, well, why don't you just point a camera to it? That's not going to look good. And I, I've always said I don't want to just be, I don't want to be an LPR who points a camera to a screen or whatever and just record it. So, for right now, I am done covering the Ace Attorney series. I can't believe it. I mean, this, this has been going on for like, what, two, three years? It's been a major part of my Alpine career covering this because I've always wanted people to know how amazing the series is. And personally, I find it to be a great feat that what I did, you know, to cover the entire series so far and that I can cover. And, you know, I just had so much fun with it. So it's kind of sad to say that I'm somewhat done with it at the moment. But. You know what? What else can I do? You know, 3DS games. Well, even even the whole, thing, the whole Professor Layton versus uh, Ace Attorney. For some reason, it's not even localized yet. I thought so. That's going to take a while to get here. But once again, like I said, the expenses of getting a capture board if just for the 3DS and then getting a 3DS itself and the games, it, it's going to be a hassle for me. So that's why I'm going to just hold off and see what happens in the future. Um, and then, of course, we gotta wait until the other game is translated so I can cover it, you know, com cover it right. I'm sure people are saying, well, can't you just, you know, cover the game in Japanese and just translate it all yourself? That'll be one too, too big of a project for me. And I, I just, I, not to say I don't want to do it. Well, I kind of, I don't want to do it, actually. It just, 
I have other stuff I gotta do, so... Yeah. So... I just want to personally thank everyone out there who's stayed tuned to watching this LP and any LP that I've done, or especially the Ace Attorney series. Um, I definitely enjoyed it all this time, and it's kind of sad to see it go for right now. So, hopefully soon I can get back into it, but for right now, we're officially done. However, this will somewhat lead into the next LP I've been thinking about. And actually, you guys might be thinking already, you might be wondering what it is already, or you guys might actually know what it is already. All I'll, all I'll say is, it has... I'm not sure if I want to say it has ties to the Ace Attorney... It has ties to the Ace Attorney series. And what I mean by what I mean by that, not actual like the, the like the story and stuff in the game, but like actual real life ties to the series, and that could mean developers and you know other stuff like that. So I'm sure you guys already know what I'm talking about. And actually, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this game too. So I plan on covering that one next, just to give it a little bit more feel of Ace Attorney. That it's not completely gone, but it kind of is at the same time. So, once again, thank you all for watching, and I hope you've all enjoyed my Let's Play of Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys later.